So yeah, do you guys remember those best of 2K20 packs from last year? I seriously think that was some of my favorite packs to open in the game. And I feel like it's a bit earlier, but this year already we have the best of 2K21 super packs in the store. And they are quite expensive. You can only buy them with VC. Also, sorry that I was sweating a lot. It's a bit awkward. But um, these packs do actually look a lot of fun to open. Because just look at how many pink diamonds are in these packs. There's so many. Um, Wow, there's even more than I expected. There's a lot of diamonds, a lot of good ones there, a lot of amethysts, and yeah, it looks pretty nice now these packs guarantee a ruby or higher and the best pink diamonds in these packs are kobe bryant paul george Shaq, vince carter Giannis, lebron mj i guess james harden d rose jason tatum just to name a few and obviously there's some pretty good diamonds as well so we've got our vc 450,000. that's what almost enough for three boxes and i'm just hoping we can get something good because my last pack opening i wouldn't say it was bad but for how much money i spent it wasn't the greatest so let's set a like on this video i feel like this video should do okay because i know that there's a lot of hype around these packs. So let's see if we can get, I don't know, 2,000 likes in this video. I'd appreciate that heaps. Anyway, um, I guess it's time to go into these packs. So you guys know the main thing we want to see is we want to see those shakes and it's only a 10 pack box. There's no 20s out. And uh, yeah, they're very expensive. So straight away, getting a Ruby, that is not what we want to see. Chris Paul, who was actually really good for the last limited round because as, okay, there's the shake. That's what we want to see more of. And it's a diamond straight away. That's good because, you know, it could have been an amethyst as I'm literally dripping sweat right now. But Eastern Conference, 94 overall, number 33. Um, Who is that? Is that... Oh, that's Kareem. That's not bad at all. I think he goes for like 40k. So that's a pretty good diamond out of all of the weird card art. But obviously it's from 2k17. Hey guys, you know I have a girl in my room. It's a crazy life. Yeah, anyway, we be on that grind and we get another shake in the right. And that one again is another diamond. So these are not looking too bad right now because as I said in my last video, I like getting the shakes. I like getting the wiggles. But the only thing I hate about it is the fact that it could be like a terrible player. I think this is Carl Malone. No, yeah, Carl Malone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's who it is from um, that double what double take set. I mean, it's nice to see these cards that I probably haven't pulled before. No shake in this one, so just a ruby, a little unfortunate. But midway through these packs, and again, no shake in this one. So two shakes so far, another Chris Paul, CP3, um, times two equals six. We got an Amethyst, and that's an ornament ball. Another ruby being the Lakers. I mean, Rex Chapman is actually a really good ruby, but hopefully number seven, we can get something good. Another ruby. It's gone downhill since I said that these packs were okay. Number eight for Kobe, though. You guys ready? Yep, there's a shake. That's what we need to see. Still just a diamond. I mean, I can't really complain with getting three diamonds in a 10-pack box. Zero Amethyst. And Western Conference, 93 overall. Number zero, is that Russell Westbrook? That's definitely who it looks like it is. Now the wizard, which is kind of crazy, but Westbrook, there we go. I'm so surprised that we haven't got an Amethyst yet. I feel like this is an Amethyst though. Yeah, I knew it was going to be because I always pull Amethyst, but we've pulled three diamonds so far and only one Amethyst. Western Conference, 90 and number 21. I can't remember who this is off the top of my head. Michael Cooper, maybe, yeah? One of the first cards that came out is such a beast though. And now for the final pack of what I'd say is a pretty good box and no shake to end it off, but I'm okay with that. And I guess now it's time to just go into another box. I do wish that we could buy these packs with MT just because it is a little bit annoying the fact that it's only VC and especially for how expensive they are. Not sure if I'm a huge fan of that, but the thing is super packs have pretty much always just been with VC. As we do get another shake there, still just another Amethyst. We got Sniper as a badge, not too great of one, but we need to see that pink diamond glow because if we see that pink diamond, we know that it could be something absolutely crazy. It could also be something very mediocre as it's going to be Tyler Hero with, in my opinion, one of the coolest card arts in the game. Just that one there. Um, What's something I can do for good pack luck? Maybe uh, get a feature? Bol Bol. Do you want to open up a pack? All right. So press X. Yep. Nice. And you got an amethyst, right? Just press X again. <sighs> It's not terrible, but it's not the best. <laughs> Who is it? Oh, that's Chris Dapps. That was, again, like a very early card that came out, but we'll take it. Then press triangle. Nice. Oh, we got a ruby as well. Not bad. We'll go until she doesn't get a shake. So, you just got me a pink diamond. You just got me a pink diamond. That's what we wanted to see. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, press X on that, baby. Let's flip it. Let's flip it. We need to see Kobe, Bean, Brian. I can't believe this is like one of the two packs I haven't opened yet. Lesson 95. It's not Kobe. Number 41. That means it's Dirk. <sighs> Can't say that's the best, but it's a pink diamond nonetheless, and I'm pretty happy with that. Thank you. And that's the rest of the pack. All right, next pack up, number six. Okay, no shaking that one. Just press triangle, fine. Ruby, okay. And one more pack. If you don't get a shake in this one, let's get it. So press X again, and no shake. All right, just triangle and 
that's um the feature done all right number eight is great um really it isn't because we get no shake at all we get marcus smart i'm feeling smart because my brain is on peak as we get another pink diamond two in one box baby let's go this one has to be better than dirk dirk doesn't go for too much because i think there was a locker code for him we need to say 96 it's still just 95 number six shooting guard that means it's walter davis i think like that's again one that has a locker code not super happy with that but hey it is another pink diamond two pink diamonds in one box you really can't complain with that and number 10 not any with a shake but that was a good box lamello though what a what a pull to get oh wow so i think you guys know it already but i'm a pack addict i have to buy more vc after getting two pink diamonds in one box i have to do it let's see if they've brought out 20s yet and no it looks like it's just going to be 10s but they're a really weird price which is why i find these packs kind of crazy and hopefully in these next two boxes we can get at least one other pink diamond. And hopefully it's a good one too, because so far we really haven't got the best pink diamonds when we've got them. We've got okay diamonds, but the pink diamonds have been uh, locker code ones. There's just an amethyst, but we'll flip it and maybe it can be like Tyler Hero or something like that again. I wouldn't complain. Let's see. I'm sweating so bad. So bad. Number nine, um, shooting guard. That means it is going to be Rich Guerin, which I mean, Rich, Rich as a person. Money coming in my pocket, Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, if guys can't tell, I'm a rapper and every girl loves it. So let's go through and see Ruby. Number four though, this one's not going to be any better because again, it's another Ruby. So we pulled one Amethyst so far in five packs and wow. I... All right, this box is looking a bit dry after our last really, really good one. But there we go, another shake and it's a diamond. We'll definitely take a diamond just like that. Hopefully it can be like a glitch player, maybe Monte Ellis, Tim Duncan, Zion actually, Eastern Conference, so not Zion. Number 33, center. That means it's going to be Kareem for our second time in this pack opening. Again, it's not a terrible one, so I'll take it. Just one more diamond or higher in this box, and then I'm satisfied with it. Another ruby, not exciting. But what about number eight? We got another diamond. That's what I said. And we've still got two more packs in this box to be able to see if we can get something good to end it off with a bang. Number nine, well, 93 overall. Can I even speak? Shooting guard. And that right there is what? Um, Michael Red, I'm pretty sure. Glenn, no, Michael Red. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's a bad pull. I think you might actually go for a little bit because that sleeper's set is really like slept on <laughs> do you get, do you guys get it <laughs> i know i'm pretty i'm pretty funny but no for real like not many people open up those packs so not many of those players are out in the auction house and stuff and that's why all right looks like we have enough for one more box so this is going to be four boxes in the video which is definitely a lot of vc but your guys support even though i haven't been super consistent this year of 2k21 has still continued to be insane so thank you guys very much and that's what allows me to be able to afford to actually do these pack openings as we get andre Iguodala, the raptors ornament ball not super exciting there we do get a shake this time we get a silver as well anthony tolliver why do i think that could be something okay well it's just another diamond it's weird to say we put more diamonds than amethyst i don't think that's ever happened to me before western conference 93 number 22 is no we haven't pulled this before who is that oh is that rudy gay yeah, I think it is. That's a beastly card. I was so confused for a second there. Actually, we did get Anthony Tolliver and he plays for Memphis and so does Rudy Gay. So that's a little weird. Well, he used to in that card. But Zach Levine there. And what else are we going to get in the Amethyst here? Western Conference, 91 overall, number 32. Have we pulled this card before? A center. And that is going to be Carl Anthony Towns. I do remember using him at the start of the year. Pretty nice card, actually. I mean, we've got an Amethyst. We've got a Diamond. We've got a Ruby. Now, you know, we only need a Pink Diamond. That's it. Can we get one more Pink Diamond in these packs? There's the Shake. That we need to see. And it's just a Diamond. But they're saving it for the final few packs for us to be able to get this Pink Diamond pull ended off with a Kobe Bean Bryant. 94 overall. That's what we want to see. There is no way. This is another Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Our third time. There's so many diamonds in these packs, but we've got Kareem three times. It's about I have to say it every single time. I'm not complaining, but it's just very weird. Another shake in the same spot. This time, one tier below. Next time, though, we get a shake. It's going to be one tier above a diamond being a pink diamond. You guys ready? I quoted it, so you guys know it's definitely going to happen. Number 32, that right there is going to be Shaquille O'Neal. Not the one we wanted because it's only the Amethyst. Maybe the pink diamond's coming soon. Or I mean, maybe that's a sign that Kobe is actually coming soon. Um... Well, definitely not with a Ruby, but number eight. If there's one pack I want to pull Kobe on, it'll be number eight. But we get Eric Gordon and there's still two more packs remaining in this box. So, oh, wow. Hopefully we end this box on a shake or else it'll be kind of anticlimactic at the end. Number 10, the final pack of this box. No shakes. 
That's okay though. So now we have enough for one single pack. I probably should have done more singles rather than just doing the boxes, but you guys know I love doing the boxes. So that's the main reason we had to do it. Please end with a shake. Yes, we do. Let's build the su suspense up. Can I get a bass drop real quick? You guys ready for it? This is gonna be crazy. You guys ready? I can just hear it in the back of my head. And I'm ready to get hyped. Bam! Okay, well. It's just an amethyst. That's the way we're gonna end it on. But I can't say this pack opening was too bad. We pulled so many amethysts, quite a few diamonds as well, and two pink diamonds, which is a pretty good pack opening if I say so myself. Only about, what, 650,000 VC. Definitely a lot, but I've definitely had worse. So if we go into my auctions and look at what we pulled, we ended up getting Walter Davis, Dirk, Karl Malone, a couple of Kareem's, Rudy Gay, Michael Red. Like there's a lot of pretty good cards here. I just wouldn't really say we got that insane pull that I was looking for. I actually just realized I don't think Zach Levine's in these packs. Oh no, yes he is. Cause yeah, Zach Levine is the one that I need out of all these season three featured players. So maybe we'll just go and pull him right now. Um, Random little pack. Uh, we don't have enough VC. Let's just do it with MT. Hop into a Zach Levine pack and just pull this card get him and then end the video off with a bang okay well maybe with a ruby lamello nope okay so i guess the question now is would i recommend you guys open up these best of 2k21 super packs i'm probably going to say no just for the fact that mine weren't insane but you do kind of look at what that third box i opened and the fact that we got two pink diamonds in that one box if your pack luck is crazy these could be so much fun for me we got a lot of diamonds but i wouldn't really say it's worth just because there are quite a lot of pink diamonds in this that go for less than 50,000 mt which is a bit of an L when you get so excited for a pink diamond glow and you get some of the worst ones. But hey, I'm happy these packs are out. Hopefully it'll crash the market. And that means a lot of you guys will be able to get a lot more of these players. And I'm hoping it crashes the market so that I can actually pick up Zach Levine. Cause you guys can see my MT is pretty low right now, but hopefully we can rack that up soon and get a lot more and then we'll be good to go. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna try and get out Lamella's legacy tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. But yeah, I guess that's pretty much the end of the video. Let's see if we can get that 2000 likes. As you guys know, I appreciate you heaps. Sweaty Angus is um about to, I don't know, wash my face. Literally, look at me, I'm dripping. <laughs> but yeah, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.